Hello my dear students. So today we will start new chapter. Biodiversity, conservation and environmental issues. Okay. Now the first subtopic is biodiversity. It refers to the variety of all varieties of life that can be found on earth. Plants, animals, fungi and microorganisms as well as to the communities that they form and the habitats in which they live. So millions of species that comes under biodiversity. This term was coined by Walter G. Rosen in 1982. Now, there are levels of biodiversity. There are three interrelated hierarchical level. Genetic diversity, species diversity, community diversity. Okay. Now, one by one. The first one is genetic diversity. It is the diversity in the number of and types of genes as well as chromosomes present in different species and also the variations in genes and their alleles in the same species. So this comes under the genetic diversity. Once again please listen carefully. It's very easy. It is a diversity in the numbers and types of genes. Okay. As well as chromosomes present in different species and also the variations in genes and their alleles in the same species. Example, genetic variations of Rovolfia vomitoria growing in different Himalayan region might be in term of the potency and concentration of one chemical recipe that plant produce. So this one is the example of the genetic variation in this one and this plant produce the chemical recipe. So concentration of chemical or in the term of potency. So this is the genetic diversity. So here the main terms are number, types of genes, chromosomes and variations. Isn't it? Now come to the next species diversity. It is the diversity in the number and richness of the species in a region. The number of species per unit area is called species richness. Fine. And number of individuals of different species present represents that the species evenness. So two terms are there. Species richness. So what is species richness? Number of species per unit area is called species richness. Now what is species evenness? Number of individual of different species represents species evenness. So two terms are there. Now example here, western ghats have greater amphibian species diversity as compared to the eastern ghats. So this one is a explanation for species diversity. Now for the next community and ecosystem diversity. It is related to the different types of ecosystems or habitats. Or example terrestrial ecosystem, aquatic ecosystem, isn't it? Now ecosystem diversity is very high in India because of the occurrence of Large number of ecosystems like desert, rainforest, deciduous forest, mangroves, coral reefs, wetlands, alpine meadows. So because of 
so many type of ecosystems that's why the ecosystem diversity is very high in india it is quite low in small countries like norway so this is all about the levels of diversity genetic diversity species diversity and community and ecosystem diversity now after levels of biodiversity next is patterns of biodiversity so there are two patterns latitudinal and altitudinal gradient second one species area relationship okay so one by one the first one is latitudinal and altitudinal gradient in bearing arid and semi arid and aquatic habitats biodiversity shows this type of pattern latitudinal and altitudinal gradient species diversity decreases as we move away from the equator towards the pole so species diversity decrease when we move from the equator away from the equator towards the pole it increases in temperate area and reaches maximum in tropical rain forest maximum diversity occurs in amazon rain forest of south america okay so richest uh, maximum in tropical rain forest okay now reason behind the maximum biological diversity in the tropical region what is the main reason for this the first one is tropical latitudes remain undisturbed for millions of year that's why their biological diversity is very high second tropical environment are less seasonal more constant and predictable third reason is more solar energy is available which helps in higher productivity so these are the main three reason why the biological diversity is very high in tropical regions now the next pattern is species area relationship here one scientist alexander von humboldt while exploring the wilderness of south american jungle found that within a region the species richness increased with increasing area but up to certain limit the relationship between the species richness and the area are turn out to be a rectangular <coughs> hyperbola for a wide variety of taxa whether they are birds fat a bat fresh water fishes or flowering plants okay so on the log table see here i have drawn the graph also species richness and here this side area so on the log scale it shows straight line you can see here straight line and the relationship between the species richness and area is described best described or explained by this equation log s is equal to log c plus z log a now here s is the species richness z is slope of line or regression coefficient c is y intercept and a is area so the relationship between the species richness and area is explained by equation log s is equal to log c plus z log a here you can see logarithm scale this will show the straight line regression coefficient is generally 0.1 to 0.2 fine so this is all about the species area relationship 
So these are the two patterns of biodiversity. <coughs> now, importance of biodiversity. First one, stability of the ecosystem because of biodiversity. Biodiversity is a rich source of food and improved varieties. <coughs> this one is a major source of fibers. Cotton fiber, jute fiber, like this. And it also provides useful products such as gums, resin, dye, fragrance, perfumes, waxes, lubricants, rubber, latex, paper, etc. from the plant. And from the animal, wool, fur, skin, leather, silk, lac, so all these things. We are getting from the plants and animal. Okay. And the last one. They provide medicines also. Different millions of species are there. Varieties of plants. So from where we can extract the medicines for different diseases. To cure diseases. Okay. So this is all about the levels of biodiversity. Pattern of biodiversity. And importance. Thank you.